Okay, here with an Obus 7240. Very cool little lock. It's a lock I've not picked on camera, so yeah, it's probably time I got around to it. So, on that note, I'm just going to grab myself some coffee because I really need it. And we'll have a crack at picking this lock. Back in a mo. Alright, let's have a crack at this thing. See if I can do a decent time. Small keyway. Not a lot of room to move. Everything's fairly tightly spaced, so. Challenge for me. Just going to go through and uh, feel for feedback. Feeling a little bit of. There we go. A little bit of counter, I was going to say. Spool action in here, so I'm trying to find uh, the most cooperative pins. There we go. Set pin one, I think, I hope, I think. Feeling count here and there. Some of them feel like they're a little bit harder to move. So I'm going to keep probing. And try to find the pin that wants to be cooperative. And that should make the other ones easier to set. Well, I just got nowhere on that pass. Hey, let's try again. Okay, let's pin one again. Put a bit of counter on five. So it doesn't seem to want to cooperate, so I'm assuming there's something else that I need to do. Keep losing pin one. Hello, Pin. Where are you? Oops, there we go. That felt a bit better. Check on the back of the lock for a second. If I can get back there. Oh, we're open. Yeah, baby! <laughs> that was weird. I didn't have enough tension on the lock and I didn't feel it open. It was only when I couldn't find anything cooperative. I just tried to apply a bit more torsion and suddenly the core turned. So, 
that's that delicate balance in terms of tension. So now comes the time I've got to open this puppy. Bit more light, I think. Pull out my low budget pinning tray. See if I can find a screwdriver. Here we go. Oh, I should probably have done something like this. Key. Key works. So, oops, wrong screwdriver. Alrighty, back again. Uh, got everything kind of laid out. Just had to make doubly sure I had everything oriented correctly because I got a little bit confused at the end there of which way I had this. I should have I should have marked the end of the cylinder. I mean the Bible or something, but I didn't. So I had to stick the core in and have a look at where the holes lined up and make sure I had everything right. So, bearing in mind that I may have screwed up and uh, these pins might be reversed up here, <laughs> but um, based on what I felt, I'm pretty certain that this is the way it was. Um, so, all standard key pins. Um, no serrations or anything. Uh, kind of surprising. I kind of, thought, kind of thought there would be some. But, um, anyway, moving up into the driver pins. Lo and behold, they're all spool pins in one through to five. And at the end here in position six, we have a standard pin. So, that's what's inside this um, 7240 here. Fun pick. Um, challenging for me because I, yeah, I don't spend a lot of time in small keyways, so I go through a little bit of hell personally. But, um, you know, challenging yourself is the name of the game here, I'm, I'm sure you all agree, so if it's tough, don't give up, just keep going. But I've waffled on for long enough, and you guys have got better things to do than listening to me, so I'm just going to wish you all the best. Say peace and respect to you all, wish you all happy pickings, and I'll catch up with you all on another day. I'm out. Peace.